How did the blue whale evolve to become so large and why? Blue whales are not just the largest animals on earth, but they also have some mind-blowing anatomy that's often overlooked. How did the blue whale evolve from a four-legged land mammal that was less than two metres long? In this video, we will be answering these questions and attempting to understand just how large these whales really are. To truly appreciate the size of a blue whale, imagine a school bus. It's about 40 feet long. Now, the average blue whale is more than twice the length of a school bus, reaching up to an astounding 100 feet. If we take a look at this chart from the Smithsonian Museum, we can start to put the blue whale size into perspective. Take a look at the smallest whale here on this chart, the narwhal. Narwhals still reach lengths of up to 15 feet, which is approximately the length of the average car. As blue whales can grow up to lengths of 100 feet, this means the blue whale can reach lengths of nearly seven average size cars. We can also picture their gigantic size by considering that the height of the average two-storey house is approximately 20 feet. If you imagine that house stacked up on itself five times, well, you might be able to appreciate the true enormity of the blue whale. Blue whales can weigh up to an unbelievable 160 tonnes, which means they can weigh as much as over 25 elephants or over 5,300 Labradors. Blue whales aren't just the largest animal to live on Earth now. They are recorded to be the largest animal that has ever existed on planet Earth. Later on in this video, we will be uncovering the reasons behind their enormous size and why they are the largest animals to have ever lived. What makes the blue whale structurally unique and just how large are their bones? Let's take a closer look at their skeleton. Firstly, their skull, which is a narrow shape and has a pointed snout, is enormous, reaching up to 20 feet in length. It's so big that you could comfortably stand inside it. Their lower jawbone, or mandible, is the largest bone on earth. It can reach more than 13 feet long and contains their baleen plates, which they use for filter feeding instead of teeth. This combination of size and structure means their head is the heaviest part of their body. Blue whales have a long, flexible spine composed of approximately 50 to 60 vertebrae. These vertebrae are not fused, which allows the whale's back to arch gracefully as it swims. The cervical vertebrae near the head are relatively small, while the thoracic and lumbar vertebrae, which are the upper and middle vertebrae, are larger. Some of the blue whale's larger vertebrae can exceed four or five feet in length and height, which is nearly the same as the average human. The rib cage of a blue whale is extensive and provides structural support for the whole body, as well as acting as protection for the whale's vital organs. Blue whales have approximately 15 pairs of ribs, which are relatively thin and elongated. The ribs are not attached to a breastbone, unlike terrestrial animals. As you can see here, each rib is extremely long, and when compared to the mandible, the blue whale's 13-foot jawbone, there is not a huge difference in length. Therefore, the longest ribs of the blue whale can reach somewhere up to 13 feet, which is almost as tall as a double-decker bus. Blue whales have large and powerful pectoral flippers, which are similar to the forelimbs of land mammals. The pectoral girdle, which includes the shoulder blades and other bones, supports these flippers. The flippers alone can be up to 10 feet in length, which is far taller than the average human being. Interestingly, blue whales possess a pair of vestigial pelvic bones, which are remnants from their evolutionary ancestors. These bones are tiny and non-functional and are located within the body wall. The caudal or tail region of a blue whale consists of a series of specialised vertebrae, which are fused together to form a strong, flexible structure. The tail fluke, made of dense connective tissue, is supported by these vertebrae. The tail fluke can span up to 25 feet across and is the primary propulsive organ for swimming. The axial skeleton of a blue whale, which includes the skull, vertebrae and rib cage, gives the animal its characteristic elongated and streamlined shape. This streamlined shape is crucial for efficient swimming and minimises water resistance. With an enormous skeleton comes enormous internal organs. The blue whale's four-chambered heart is truly colossal, often exceeding 1,300 pounds in weight or 92 stone. 
This means their heart is heavier than a camel. In fact, the blue whale heart is the largest heart of any known animal. It's roughly the size of a compact car, with dimensions of up to 5 feet in height, 4 feet in width, and 5 feet in length. Their giant heart beats incredibly slowly, as infrequently as once every 6 to 8 seconds, about 5 to 6 beats per minute, and pumps 220 litres of blood throughout their body. The blue whale heart is not only enormously large, but also enormously loud. When using sonar equipment, you can hear a blue whale's heart nearly two miles away. Another astonishing fact is that their arteries are so large that a human could swim through them, emphasising the sheer scale of the circulatory system. This extensive network of arteries is essential to ensure that oxygen-rich blood is distributed efficiently throughout their immense body. Their circulatory system has adapted to support their colossal size, making it one of the most remarkable aspects of blue whale anatomy. But how did blue whales come to grow so large and why? It all comes down to their unique feeding strategy. Blue whales are filter feeders and they consume an incredible amount of tiny krill every day. This high calorie diet allows them to sustain their enormous size. The colossal size of their heart, tongue, arteries and stomach is a result of millions of years of evolution, driven by their specialised feeding habits. If we turn back the clock to 48 million years ago, we can see that the origins of the blue whale, as well as all other whales, lie in a four-legged land mammal that was no bigger than two metres long, the Pachycetus. This mammal foraged in streams and over time its descendants began to adapt to living in water. Eventually, the descendants of the Pachycetus evolved into an entirely new aquatic creature, the Duridon, measuring a slightly larger 4.5 metres long, yet still nowhere near the size of the whales we see on Earth today. But in the Duridon, we began to see the anatomical origins of what makes whales unique. The Duridon's nostrils had moved from its snout to the top of its head, echoing the whale nostrils and blowholes we see today. Its forelimbs had turned into flippers, its trunk had extended, its hind limbs had evolved to become virtually unnecessary, and its tail had evolved into two flukes, which propelled the animal through the water. With these evolutionary adaptations, something amazing began to happen. Because the Duridons were now marine creatures floating in the sea, supported by the buoyancy of the water, they were no longer limited by gravity and could continue to grow larger and larger. Over thousands and millions of years, the blue whale has grown so colossal that it exceeds the size of every other creature on Earth. In the present day, blue whales consume several tonnes of krill daily, which provides them with the necessary calories and nutrients to support their massive size. It is the combination of their evolutionary adaptations and their feeding behaviours that enable them to reach and sustain their colossal size. Their enormity likely evolved to take advantage of seasonal blooms of krill, this is where massive groups of krill accumulate and allow the blue whales to feast and develop large blubber reserves, which as a result allows them to also maintain their size during prolonged periods of fasting, such as during their migrations. Anatomically, blue whales are adapted to consume these huge feasts of krill. Their mandibles, their 13 feet jaw bones that we saw earlier, that are the longest bones in the world, along with a buccal cavity in their mouth that can expand hugely, enable an extreme and effective bulk feeding behaviour. When lunge feeding, the blue whale accelerates up to 5 metres a second and engulfs an enormous volume of krill-laden water, which corresponds to the whale's gigantic size. This feeding behaviour is specialised for their single prey type of krill. As swimming and feeding go hand in hand for blue whales, there are huge benefits to this lunge feeding strategy for the blue whales. Though they are exerting extreme energy, this process allows them to consume volumes of prey large enough to sustain their huge bodies. Blue whales have evolved so that during their feeding behaviour, they are capable of engulfing enough prey that is larger than their own body. 
This means that astoundingly, blue whales actually double in size during these lunge feeding events, as their buccal cavity and ventral pleats inside their mouth are able to expand. Their baleen plates then filter out the water in about 30 to 100 seconds and the krill is kept inside the mouth. As we can see, blue whales have evolved to become anatomically capable of consuming huge amounts of food, which is why they are so large. Their bodies have adapted to efficiently process and utilise the immense amount of food they consume. This unique feeding strategy is a testament to the remarkable ways in which nature has sculpted these oceanic giants. It can feel near impossible to imagine the true enormity of blue whales, but we hope this video has allowed you to appreciate and understand their massive size. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, come and say hi on Instagram at discoverwildofficial.